This is a banded hamstring stretch. So I got a band hooked here on this squat rack. You can use a door and a door anchor. I'm gonna step into the band. I want this high in my hip crease. I'm gonna come forward and get some tension on it. If the band is uncomfortable, you can pad it with a pillow. I'm gonna place my hands on something in front of me. This is a bench at home, you use a coffee table. Because I want the back roughly flat. We're gonna get into the hamstring, but I don't love just reaching for the toes because that can create what's called nerve tension as we flex the low back and we straighten the knee. So instead, hands here, back roughly flat. I'm gonna try and relax and allow this band to kind of pull my hip back. What it's doing is it's seeding my femur, the head of my femur, deep into the hip socket as I come into, this is hip flexion. So we want the hip to travel backwards along with the band. And then I'm gonna straighten and bend the knee. So you can see I got a little stiffness there. That's about as straight as I can get. I feel a nice stretch right through here. And then I just bend in through there. So you might not have a ton of motion here. I'm only really stretching this front leg in this position. And then I would switch to the other side. But for people who either get back pain or front of the hip pinching when they're trying to get into the hamstrings, this can be really helpful to normalize how the hip joint is moving and then get into the hamstring muscle. And I like to move in and out of here rather than just a hold. So I might hold five, 10 seconds and then come back. I'm not holding my breath at all, but kind of getting some active movement into this hip and hamstring. So this is the banded hamstring stretch.